Yo guys, Mike for Sim Racing 604, and welcome for the first time to Karting Superstars. So this is the newest game from developer Original Fire Games, and if the aesthetic looks familiar, it's probably because you played Circuit Superstars. So we got that, what, a year or two ago? And it was really just a breath of fresh air at a time when I think the world needed it most. And Karting Superstars kind of aims to do the same thing. And uh, it has one advantage, I would say, over just about every other game in my collection except Circuit Superstars and maybe Art of Rally. And that is that as a racing game, it doesn't take itself too seriously. Like, it does a lot of things really well, don't get me wrong. But at the same time, Time, it's not obsessed with the things that uh, so many modern racing titles are that can actually hold it back in terms of fun. So uh, we're going to do a couple of races here and I'll just give you a feel for how it plays. So that was a qualifying session, which is really nicely done. They just basically ghost everyone and you just try to get around as fast as possible. So I managed to qualify third there. So let's get into the actual race. Here we go at Maple Ridge, starting in fourth position, no, third position, of course. So I qualified third, I thought it bumped me down to fourth there for a second. You can see the interesting sort of cartoonish aesthetic of the game. And this is no longer ghost time, of course, we can bump into the other carts, so I gotta watch out. There are bonuses given for keeping it clean, so I'm gonna try my best to do exactly that. And you notice even small little animations like the feet on the driver correspond with me pressing the buttons on the controller. And uh, so it's not like they mailed it in, even though it does look, you know, cartoonish in nature. It's not as if they didn't put any effort whatsoever into the graphics. It actually uh, looks pretty cool at times. There's some interesting sort of mock adverts on the side and that kind of thing. And uh, yeah, just overall a nice aesthetic and then you'll see also the track will actually get rubbered in you'll see the racing line get darker and darker as the race goes on i think whoops i think i might give that position back that was obtained in a dirty manner but yeah you'll see the truck get track get rubbered in and uh yeah you get bonuses for doing collision free laps or penalty free laps or things like that so uh fun little bonus and when you get enough of those little bonuses you do get race suits and helmets and things like that so fairly basic the game is only entering early access at this point so we do not have the full game and uh, I'm not allowed to do a review at this point but uh, I just wanted to showcase some gameplay here so I'm running pro-am mode so as you can see it's just about perfect pace for me but I think once I'm done this three race tournament I'll jump over and do something in hard mode. So let's see if I can find a way by this guy, see if I can take some corners a little bit faster. And by the way, one thing this game does better than, I would say, almost any racing game I own is the controls. The controls are absolutely fantastic. It is very easy um, to get the cart to do exactly what you wanted. Granted, it's not the most sophisticated. It's not like you have to deal with complex suspension physics or anything like that. Like modeling carts is uh, comparatively easy I would imagine but you get the hang of it so fast the learning curve is as close to zero as uh, I've ever experienced in any racing game and so you just kind of jump in and you have fun right away it's really remarkable actually um, how fast you get the hang of things so well done to original fire games on that you know eliminating the learning curve letting us just jump right in enjoy ourselves is the way to go so you can pick this up now in early access on Steam. I don't know if there's plans to bring it to uh, um, console or not. We'll see. All right, what's next? Almost to level five. There should be another qualifying session here. Let's see, we are in Copperwood now. So again, if you didn't catch it the first time, when I get close to other carts, they turn transparent, translucent, translucent whatever the right term is I guess translucent and uh, yeah it doesn't get in the way of your qualifying so that's a perfect way to do a qualifying session and see how fast you are relative to the rest of the field so you can see I'm kind of gaining on a few carts but I'm not able to catch those guys ahead so I would say I'm kind of qualifying midfield at this point uh, they're going off the track I managed to keep it on track and uh, did I cross the start finish line already I guess I must have Oh, going wide there. That's not good. So 
we will see how things shake out in this quali session. But yeah, like I say, perfect format. Doesn't hold you back. And as you've probably seen, the load times are phenomenal. And I suspect that this could run on a potato. So a lot of advantages here. Where did I qualify? I qualified fourth. So I'm running triple screen, so it's all messed up. My HUD is to either side, so I can't really see much. But uh, all right, we will race Copperwood starting from fourth position. So last race, I thought I was going to be fourth. Now I'm actually fourth. It's like a, It's like I can forecast the future. All right, big bump to start things off. That was a chicane, not a left-hand corner. You can see the two carts ahead of me pulling away, but I managed to reel them in. What did I get in the first race? First place? First race, first place. I only need, only need one more. Position gained to increase my standing by four, which is one of the goals here. And one thing I, yeah, I actually I can't say that. I'm not allowed to review, but I would say that the cone, there's a, a challenge to take out cones. I don't love it. I wish we got more bonuses for clean laps or something like that. Because uh, taking out pylons is, uh, it's kind of hard to do in this game without violating track limits. Therefore, you're kind of sacrificing your race trying to get a few bonus points. But maybe that's by design. Ooh, big bump. I managed to cut back. Got him. So now we're racing, trying to track down first place. You can see I can take curbs quite aggressively here for the most part. Uh, you do get cut warnings. They just instantly penalize you two seconds. You have to slow down for two seconds if you uh, take a corner too aggressively. So fair enough. All right, that should be two collision-free laps. No, it's not because I ran into that dude. All right, if I can keep this one clean, I should get two bonuses. Keep this lap clean, that is. Should get two bonuses. Let's see. Can I finish this lap clean? I'm reeling this guy in slowly but surely. I think I'm running out of time here. Most races are like six laps, so uh, yeah. So this is final lap. Boom, 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 boom. Let's see, can I reel him in, get first place? Not like that, I can't. Oh, I just dropped way back. Got a lot closer on that corner. That corner went really nicely for me. Come on, Mike. Come on, Mike. Get him. Go get him. Go get him. Ah, oh, so close. All right. I'll be in second place here. And one more race to go. Let's see. Where are we to uh, finish this round? Sienna. Quali. Let's go, baby. I love the spectators, <laughs> these little uh, cartoonish characters. Ugh, this has been a rough qualifying so far, by the way. I'm not catching even the last. Oh, there we go. Caught a couple of them, so I'll probably start midfield again. But here we go, across the start finish line to begin our flying lap here. Slow out of the corner there. Oh, again, slow out of the corner. Yeah, I wish more racing games had qualifying like this. This is the way to do it. If you just want to fast track a quality session, not worry about bumping other cars, this is the way to do it. Not the most realistic, of course, but uh, for fun-oriented racing games, this is perfect. First place, yes, yeah, starting from pole. All right, last race, let's do it. By the way, I'm racing with an Xbox controller. In case you're wondering, Do this. And hopefully that will be the last time. Nope. <laughs> I was going to say the last time I see any of these guys, but it looks like they will catch me. Wheel to wheel racing action here. Look at these high stakes. All this high stakes racing.
And yeah, I'm just so impressed by the controls. Um, you could pretty much get the car to go exactly where you want it to. There is some slipping, but uh, it's it's not bad. Like it's pretty remarkable, actually, how well you can place the cart. Oh, horrible corner! How much of a gap have I pulled out? Ah, decent gap, actually. So this is not the most exciting race to watch, but uh, I'm gonna do hard mode after this, or pro mode, I guess they call it. It goes amateur, pro am. I'm guessing Pro is the next, and then, I don't know, probably Champion or something like that after. On lap three of six now. So you can see the hit two pylons bonus. I'll just show you what it's like to get a cut warning. There you go. And I got one of my two required pylons to get the bonus. Won't get that one there. This should be it. So I got a bonus, but it cost me four seconds. Just get that two seconds slow down. I've still got a slight bit of a gap to the car behind, but you can see the track rubbering in there. Interesting to see that form. Cool detail. And I love the fact also, if you look off in the distance, you see mountains and things like that. It's not just the immediate environment bothered to model some landscape in the background to keep things interesting. But yeah, cool little uh, cartoonish aesthetic. Um, I mentioned earlier that, you know, Circuit Superstars came at a time when the world needed a smile, and I really mean that. Like, I had such a good time playing Cir Circuit Superstars, and I even got to chat with the developers, the original Fire Gang. Um, they're actually in the same town I am, so very rare to uh, see somebody from this part of Canada developing games. Uh, but there's one other, and that is Dune from uh, Art of Rally fame. I believe he's a Vancouverite as well. So pretty cool to see that all uh, happening in this area. I wouldn't say the games are exactly the same, but you could draw a pretty short line from Art of Rally to Circuit Superstars and now Karting Superstars, so interesting to see how that has played out. Alright, well this is just boring, so I promised you that I would jump into hard mode, and it's pretty much that time now. I'm going to get my butt kicked, but we'll see what happens. And I called it hard mode again, didn't I? Pro! Final corner here, across the line in first place. All right, let's go into pro mode. Time to qualify in pro mode. This is Maple Ridge, which I think we raced in the Pro-Am, if I'm not mistaken. I have no idea. This is my first time actually trying pro mode, so we'll see where I land here. Could be interesting. I can almost guarantee I'm gonna stink it up. But you gotta try. And yes, I customized my cart. So I used some of those bonuses I got from scoring points to customize things. Oh, I'm really slow, aren't I? I'm really slow. This is going to be awful. This is going to be tough, tough racing. But hey, stranger things have happened. Sixth place, okay, midfield. I will take it, certainly. All right, let's go, baby. Let's see what the race has to offer. And yeah, by the way, uh, not really doing a review, of course, but uh, just sharing my feelings. I think the game is super fun. I really do. Um, I got this just about 24 hours ago, and I've already invested quite a bit of time, not a ton of time, just work and life and stuff but uh enough to know that i really appreciate what we have here it's a it's a nicely done game really fun and again doesn't take itself too seriously it's just kind of a jump in have a good time not going for ultra realism in any facet necessarily but uh, the racing action is solid and you know at the end of the day that's ultra important of course is to have the racing itself stand up and uh karting superstars does Ooh, 
Whoa. So I'm doing about 10 times better than I thought I would. I thought I would be five seconds back from last place, but uh, actually writing third right now and uh, in the hunt with these guys until I did that. And now I'm way, way back and not getting any sort of bonus. <laughs> so working extra hard and not getting anything out of it. Except pride. I'm proud of myself for trying pro mode. See that beautiful fall aesthetic here at Maple Ridge. Come on, Mike. Let's reel these guys in. Doesn't look like it's going to happen, but you never know. Might just have to content myself with third place here. Look at those mountains. Wow, so gorgeous. And yeah, Art of Rally was another one where, you know, the world was going through some weird things and everyone was stuck at home and nobody was happy. And then we got Art of Rally. It might have come out slightly before 2020. I can't remember exactly when I started playing Art of Rally, but I remember it just like instantly put a smile on my face every time I play. I still play it, actually. I don't really cover it on the channel anymore for whatever reason, but uh, I just love that game. Art of Rally is fantastic. If you want to learn like a high level history of Rally while at the same time having a really, really fun time, uh, play Art of Rally. And uh, likewise with Circuit Superstars, the predecessor to this, Karting Superstars. Um, yeah, just a really fun kind of, uh, let's see, more realistic than, you know, Hot Wheels Unleashed or something like that. But, you know, not trying to be anything it's not. It's not trying to be, uh, you know, a set of Corsa or something like that. It's just mostly out for a good time. All right, started third finished or started sixth right yeah that's pretty good all right what's next what you got hopefully it's something new hopefully it's something we haven't seen before sugar hill sugar hill gang all right the crowd's fired up they're jumping up and down they're excited to see old uncle 604 try his hand at carding superstars here at Sugar Hill. I was going to make a Sugar Hill Gang reference, but I uh, don't think anyone would get that. But if you're a fan of hip hop, look up Sugar Hill Gang. Influential, massively so. All right, I'm not sure how this is going. Is this the end of the quality lap? Fourth. Look at me go. Look at me go. Fifth. Oh, I thought I had fourth. Uh, maybe I got a time penalty or something. Oh, look at this. Aggressive start from 6.04. Jumped into third place, up from fifth, and reeling in the leaders. Nobody can, nobody can understand what's going on. The crowd can scarcely believe it. 604 in the number eight car for some reason. Oh, a little bit of applause, smattering of applause, spattering, smattering, spattering, right? They like the effort. The man born with no racing talent, holding his own. Oh. Somehow <laughs> clipped a pile on there, didn't get the penalty. And uh, I'm still in a fight. And we're just now halfway through the race. I can get these guys. I was closer before. I'm sure I can get back. Oh, ho, 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 here we go. So close. Got 
Come on, two laps. Oh, a little mistake there from the 15. Mikey in the number eight gets up into second position and then gives it right back. Sparks are flying. Uh, he gave up a position. Uh, just a sad day for Mike once again. All right, I'm going to have to struggle to hold on to third here. Just one lap ago, things were looking great. Could I get the win? No. Settling for a podium at best. There's a AI car right on my tail. All right, final quarter. There we go. Okay, one more race to go. Centrifuge? I don't think I've driven this one, actually. Name does not sound familiar. Long straight here. This is like the spa of imaginary karting. Alright, let's go, baby. Let's set a lap. Tight left-hander here, then we rip down the Camel Straight. No, was this the Camel Straight? No, this is coming up right here. Top speed. V-Max. <laughs> Somehow avoided a penalty there. Sixth position. All right. Actually, last time I got fourth. It said fourth, and then I started fifth. So I don't know where I'm starting here. I guess I could have looked at that chart, but I did not. Forgive me. All right, last race, guys, and then we'll call it the end of the video. So, yeah, sixth place indeed. Let's go, baby. Crowd's hyped. They're not watching the racing, but just the same. They're jumping up and down. Some of them might be under the influence. I'm not sure. Whoa, look at that. Fighting. Mike's got his elbows out. Oh, so does the number two car. Pushing me around. One of them went wide. I didn't catch a number. This might be ugly right here. Thought I was going to get rammed like that. Oh, boy. Wheel to wheel action here. Literally locking wheels. Mike breaking unnecessarily. Trying a new racing technique. All brakes, no gas, if you will. Seldom employed by winners. But to be fair, very little testing has been done. All right, lap two of four. Oh, only four laps. I got to get my butt in gear here. Where am I? Fourth place, fourth of 12 cars, carts. Whew. Bit of off-roading there. I want that podium. Would love to finish on the podium here. And the number 81, 91, can't really see that too well. Went off there. Oh, two second penalty. Oh, no. Oh, no. Totally not worth it for the two pylon bonus. Hopefully it came through today, guys. I really love Karting Superstars. I think they did a great job. I'd uh, be curious to see where they take things uh, with this title because, you know, even though it's super fun, um, Circuit Superstars had the advantage of, uh, you know, throwing a bunch of different car classes in there. Um, but this does not. I think it's exclusively carts. Maybe they'll have different classes of carts or something like that, or maybe they can add tracks. But, uh, yeah, I think for the longevity of the title, it'd be great to see... How they mix it up in the future where original fire games takes the uh creativity all 
All right, that's it. Fourth place. Not the end of the world. All right, thanks so much for watching. Uh, I believe it's available now, if not sometime within like a 24 hour period of the release of this video. So uh, thank you Original Fire Games for sending me the uh, advanced code for early access carding superstars.